Available now. Link below. Buckle up, folks, because the Biden campaign's engine is sputtering as we approach the 2024 election. The DNC's scheduling blunder has caused a major timing belt issue with ballot certification deadlines in three crucial swing states, Ohio, Alabama, and Washington. Well, they're all flashing their check engine lights, warning that Biden's name might be missing from the November ballot if the DNC doesn't certify their nominees before the cutoff dates. The convention, set for August 19th, is running on fumes past the deadlines as the Biden campaign scrambles to jumpstart their efforts. They're arguing for provisional ballot access, but with Republican-controlled legislatures, it's like asking for a tune-up at a demolition derby. So stick around for my full report because you don't want to miss my final thought on this political pileup. Now, folks, before we dive into this Biden ballot bombshell, imagine if the DNC leaked your personal info like a busted oil gasket. That's what happened to 63,000 people in a recent data breach, leaving their sensitive details vulnerable. That's why I trust Virtual Shield, today's sponsor, to keep my digital life running smoothly. With just two clicks, Virtual Shield's VPN protects all my devices, ensuring anonymous browsing, a strict no log policy, military grade encryption, and unlimited bandwidth. It's like having a top notch security system for your data. Don't let your privacy stall out on the internet highway. Sign up at hidewithgary.com or click the link below by tapping more for up to 67% off and a 60 day risk free trial. Protect your data like the Biden campaign wishes they could protect their ballot access. All right, now let's get our engine revved up and take a closer look at the Biden campaign ballot access crisis because it seems like the DNC's convention plans has thrown a rod causing a timing issue with ballot certification deadlines in three key states, Ohio, Alabama, and Washington. First up, Ohio, they, well, there's a law there that may keep Biden from appearing on the November ballot. Let's take a look at a local clip. Kurt and Jessica, this is certainly raising eyebrows across Ohio this morning. This discussion also confusing some voters. Could President Biden truly not show up on the ballot this November? Well, it's all according to Ohio Revised Code, which requires presidential candidates to be nominated by the National Convention by August 7th. But according to the calendar, the Democratic National Convention is set to take place almost two weeks following this deadline on August August the 19th. So the Secretary of State's Chief Legal Counsel says Ohio lawmakers, they must make an exception to this law and its deadline or simply just maybe move that convention sooner so that they have that nomination and on time. We did ask a local professor of law his thoughts on all of this and whether he thinks this is fair to voters. That's an it's an interesting question as to what the legislature might do. Uh, it's, it's, it's overwhelmingly Republican. It's true. But would they really want to make a big issue of this? Uh, it seems like a relatively minor issue. Uh, Biden's going to lose anyway, likely, in Ohio. So the question might be for people looking, on the in, looking inside from the outside, they would say, why not just let him go ahead and run? The legislature must act by May 9th to change that law so that it can make an exception. Now, an attorney with the Secretary of State's office has also sent a letter to the chair of the Ohio Democratic Party, Elizabeth Walters, alerting her of this technical issue. Now, the presidential election is in November, and so we'll continue to follow how this conflict unravels over the next month as we approach that May 9th deadline. So as you can see, Ohio's deadline for presidential candidates to be nominated by their national convention is August 7th, but the DNC's convention is set to take place almost two weeks later on August 19th. The Ohio Secretary of State's office has alerted the state's Democrat Party of the technical issue, and now lawmakers must act by May 9th to change the law and make an exception. It's like the DNC's navigation system led them straight into a dead end. Next, we've got Alabama, where the certification deadline could leave President Biden stranded on the side of the electoral road. Let's take a look at a local clip from there. 
Well, guy, the certification deadline, which is 82 days before the election, has been on the books for years. But this year, the Democratic convention comes four days after the deadline, potentially leaving the party's presidential ticket off Alabama ballots. Well, today, the Alabama Secretary of State sent a letter to the state Democratic Party. He warned that if their presidential candidates are not certified before the convention, they could not be included on the November ballot under the law. So I took a look at the last six presidential election years. Dating back to 2000, the GOP convention has come after the deadline four times, three times for the Democrats. Both parties' candidates appeared on the ballot each of those years. But this is the first time since at least 2000 that only the Democratic convention falls after the certification deadline. I think the Republicans looked at this and said, well, it's not going to affect us this time, so we're going to selectively enforce it against the Democrats. I can't speak for anybody that came before me. All I know is that I'm the Secretary of State of Alabama and I am administering the election laws of this state. And uh, it'd be my advice to DNC, RNC, everybody to get those certificates and to certify those names uh, to our office by August 15th. Well, Roger says the Democratic Party has been aware of this potential problem for some time, and they are currently looking at a couple of solutions, which could include certifying President Biden and Vice President Harris before the convention. Alabama Secretary of State has warned the Democrat Party that if their presidential candidates are not certified before the convention, they won't be included on the November ballot. The state certification deadline is 82 days before the election, and this year the DNC's convention falls four days after the cutoff. While both parties have faced similar issues in the past, this is the first time since at least 2000 that only the Democrat convention has run afoul of Alabama's deadline. Well, let's not forget about Washington state, which has joined the chorus of states, warning about Biden's potential ballot absence. In a letter sent to the DNC chair, Washington director of elections, they cautioned that the state's ballot certification deadline falls on August 20th, just a day after the Democrat convention. However, it seems like Washington is already working on a fix proposing that the party submit a provisional certification of nomination no later than August 20th to keep Biden on the ballot. As the Biden campaign tries to navigate this electoral obstacle course, they argue that state officials have the power to grant provisional ballot access before the nominating conventions wrap up. In fact, during the 2020 election, states like Alabama, Illinois, Montana, and Washington allowed provisional certification for both Democrat and Republican nominees when faced with similar deadline conflicts. But here's the kicker. With Republican-controlled legislatures in the states, it's unclear whether they'll be willing to step in and give Biden's campaign a jumpstart. Alabama State Senator Linda Coleman-Madison argues that the same accommodations made for the GOP in the past should be extended to the Democrats this time around. Take a look. President Biden is responding to the possibility of not being on the November ballot in Alabama. This comes after Secretary of State Wes Allen warned the Democratic Party that their convention is scheduled after Alabama's certification deadline. The Biden campaign told us that state officials have the ability to grant provisional access when certifying candidates. They say the same situation happened in 2020 when the Republican National Convention fell past the deadline. Alabama and three other states utilized provisional ballot access during that election year. This would mean the state legislature would need to act, changing the requirements for this year. We spoke with Senator Linda Coleman Madison of Birmingham, who says those same provisions that were made for the Republican Party should now be made for the Democratic Party. The president has already been set. So I'm, I feel that if we want to be fair about it, then we should make that accommodations to the Democratic Party as well. Senator Coleman Madison cites Alabama's low voter turnout and says that Alabamians should have equal access to the ballots. However, some might see this as a chance to leave Biden's campaign stranded in the electoral breakdown lane. If you got value from this report, tap subscribe. It's time for my final thought. Folks, the DNC's monumental blunder in scheduling their convention has left the Biden campaign electoral engine sputtering. The irony is almost too much. The same party that's been working overtime to kick Trump off the ballot is now facing the prospect of having their own candidate being left in the dust. The DNC's failure to ensure their convention aligns with ballot certification deadlines in critical swing states is a catastrophic error that could cost them dearly in November. Now Biden's ballot access rests in the hands of Republican-controlled state legislatures, 
who must decide whether to throw the Democrats a lifeline or leave them stranded. As the 2024 race kicks into high gear, the DNC's self-inflicted wounds serve as a cautionary tale. In the quest for electoral victory, it's crucial not to lose sight of the fundamentals, like making sure your candidate's name actually appears on the ballot. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. Now keep up your quest for truth with this next news report. And if you found our channel enlightening, join the millions who agree with you. Tap subscribe. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.